I'm Matt Chuchel. I am a sophomore at the college and I'm studying history and literature. Uh, we're actually standing right in front of the class of 1857 gate uh, in Harvard Yard. Uh, the class of 1857 was one of the classes I focused on in my research. Um, I was looking at the southern students and their impact at Harvard during the decade before the Civil War. Uh, my, I approached the topic basically thinking, you know, there's so many social issues surrounding the world today and so many social issues that are debated on campus and I was curious whether or not slavery was something that was talked about um, while students studied at Harvard. Um, the class of 1857 was a pretty typical year um, enrollment wise for Southern students. There were about 10. I know there actually were 10. Um, and, um, and for the period there were on average 10 to 12 um, students in each class. And these Southern students were actually very, very successful at Harvard socially. Um, they joined a lot of clubs. They were, they joined the Priscillian Club. They joined the Hasty Puddings Club. They joined the most elite organizations on campus, and they were accepted by their Northern students for the most part. Um, academically, Southern students struggled. Um, although many of them came from large urban centers such as New Orleans and Baltimore, on the whole, they actually didn't do very well in academics. Um, it seems that they were focused more on the social life surrounding them. Um, that what was going on in the classroom. Many times they received uh, more um, kind of privates, which were strikes against them, uh, and so they just they had issues there. But interestingly enough, Harvard students, uh, the Harvard name really, really connected uh, Southern and Northern students, such that even after they graduated years later, they continued uh, correspondences, uh, they kept these class books, which were yearbook type things, uh, which kind of compiled data on each other, and they became so unified in later years that despite fighting the Civil War, uh, they decided to donate money to projects such as the Class of 1857 Gate. So on the whole, they were actually really, really unified, uh, something that I found surprising. Um, and even though that some Southern students refused to uh, go back to the South after the time at Harvard, for the most part, Northern students were more than willing um, and more than happy to um, share space, share time, and share their lives at Harvard with Southern students. Thanks.